Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. Julia and I are currently on Ibiza, which I think is how you're supposed to say it. We were here for a job for a few days and we decided to extend our stay a little bit just to explore the island a bit more. I was here twice before actually. This <laughs> is so witzig. You know Julia is going to continue interrupting. So the first time I was here was actually the graduation trip I did with my school and I remember seeing absolutely nothing of the island. We stayed in an all-inclusive hotel and everyone in my year just got drunk every single day. Back then I wasn't really that much into partying so I just tagged along to all the nightclubs but I secretly hated it. And then the second time I was here was last year in I think it was October or September and that was the first time I actually got to see something of the island and I really really loved it. So I already have an idea of what places Joe and I want to go to and yeah I think it's gonna be a lot of fun and as per usual I'll take you with. Good morning guys Joe and I are about to get breakfast and we're gonna go to probably my favorite restaurant here on Ibiza which is called Passion Cafe. It's so amazing. They have a bowls, avocado toast, and they also have lunch and dinner. So we're gonna head there now and get some food. So excited. <laughs> We got this drink and it's called Legalize Happiness. It contains CBD drops, maca, hemp oil, agave and almond milk. And I don't smoke weed and I've never tried CBD drops, but I think it'll be interesting to try this drink. Um, to you try, it's warm yes. though. Okay, it is really, really good. If you like maca, and I personally love maca, it's amazing. Um, let's see if I become happier after drinking this. Okay, so I got the acai bowl, which is topped with lots of granola, banana, and a strawberry. And Julia got the avo toast with poached egg. So I've had this acai bowl before, but I'm still gonna try it once again for you guys to tell you how it tastes. The acai bowl here is amazing because the consistency is really, really good. The taste is great too, and the granola, I think it's homemade, so it's really, really good, I love it. Hey guys, so it's super windy, I hope you can still hear me. Julia and I just drove to a beach called Punta Galera, right behind me here. Um, the water is super clear, and it looks like there is not a lot of people here yet. So this is the beach, and I think we have to take, um, like, we have to walk down here, and then we can swim there or here somewhere. It looks really, really nice. Oh my god, Julia, I love your outfit. <laughs> Check out Julia's look. Well, what is it? Do you want to share it? It's the sun protection look. It looks really beautiful. Um, this walk is nothing compared to the ones we had to do in Milos, right? It's so refreshing. It's so easy to walk down here. Guys, do you remember my Milos vlog when we had to do these crazy walks down to the beaches that were just, yeah, plain dangerous? <laughs> Hey guys, you will not believe what is happening right now. Julia? I can't happening? even believe it myself. I can't, we can't believe it either. I can't believe it's happening! Julia and I are, drum roll, we're going out. We are partying. We're gonna, we're gonna try and party because um, if you know me and Julia, we're not like the biggest party animals out there. But we thought, you know, because we're on Ibiza, we kind of like, should go out. So that's why we're going to Ushuaia now. Um, we're going to a day party. It's not a day party, but it just ends at 12, which is perfect because then we don't have to stay out that long. I think usually when you go out on Ibiza, it's like you go out at like 1 and um, this party is just until 11 or 12. So I think it's going to be perfect. We're going to Ushuaia, David Guetta's playing and we've got our party outfits on. Um, I think it'll be interesting. Jo, do you think we're going to have a good time or do you think, think we're going to regret it? Friends. And Julia's boyfriend actually just criticized my outfit. He said I look like a ninja turtle. Ninja turtle. I look like a Leo. Do you think we're gonna go crazy tonight? I think we're gonna have 
fun. I think we're just gonna dance, have a good yeah, time. Yeah, we're just gonna dance. The drinks are so expensive when you eat that. So we cannot afford a, a drink. No. We're just gonna dance and yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'll let you guys know how how night turned out. Guys, I'm reporting to you with sunglasses today. Not because it's very sunny in this hotel room, but because I'm not feeling that great. Um, I guess last night was a good reminder of why I usually don't go out because today I don't feel very great, even though we didn't go home that late. Um, so yeah, what happened? We went to Ushuaia and then we left and we were back here at like midnight, one o'clock, but I'm still not feeling great today. Jilla, how are you feeling? Okay. <laughs> I think this is a good reminder of why we usually don't party, right? It's not worth it, guys. It's not worth it, like... Honestly, I, it's okay to do this, like, once every six months. Imagine people that do it, like, every day here on Ibiza. It's, like, the only thing they do, like, party yeah. every night. I think I would... I don't know. It's not my thing. I don't know how people can do it every night. Like, after this one night, I'm like... I, Damn. It's not gonna happen anytime soon. Uh, I mean, it was cool, actually, really... Because I don't really like, like, super electronic music, or... I like commercial music, where I can sing along, and... Um, <laughs> your face... Your face. Oh. I could sing along and the music at Ushuaia was good because it was that, sick. It was that kind of music, like it was just like sing along music, I was just like dancing, so that was fun. I liked it. And it's a day party, big plus. I think the thing is usually people go to these parties and later on they go to a club. Yeah, because they were like, oh, come to a party with us. And we're like, Which we obviously didn't do, we went straight to that. <laughs> Good morning guys, Julia and I got up like an hour ago and we just drove to a beach called Cala Zalada which is actually my favorite beach on Ibiza. I remember last year when I was here we went here pretty much every day because in my opinion it is the nicest beach. Yeah so now it's 9 o'clock and we're standing in the parking lot and there's I think two other cars so I think it's gonna be really nice there's not gonna be a lot of other people Julia and I are planning to take some photos and then I think we're just gonna go for a swim and enjoy the sun how did you like the beach yesterday um, Punta Galera um, it was nice but I was there before I was at the we were at Cala Cala Galera, Galera yeah and I was at Punta Galera so one's like the beach and the other one's more like more a, like cliffy but like, like really nice. spot where you can dive in and um, what I I just wanted to tell you how it was in case you're thinking about going there so what I liked about it was that there weren't a lot of other people yeah the water's quite nice and clean the disadvantage I guess is that the beach is a little bit rocky so it's not like super nice to lie on and you have to do a little walk to get down to the beach but yeah it's a really nice beach and I can recommend you to go there but I think the beach that we're going to go to now is the best one by far so I'll show you that are you tired no so you're nine going. hours huh I slept nine hours that's good we made it to Cala Salada and we're actually one of the first people here it's nine o'clock and apart from us there's only like three other people swimming back there which is amazing because now we can take some photos without other people in it and we can just go for a swim and yeah there's pretty much no one else which is amazing so definitely go here a bit earlier because I think it gets quite busy and also there's a parking spot which has limited um, numbers of parking bays so once that's full you can't even get down to the beach anymore which is why it's important that you come here early I know I've been gone a long time I'm back and I want what is mine I know I've been gone a long time So we just took some photos, I flew the drone a little bit and we jumped into the water right there and now we're just tanning and I'm reading a book which is so good I really wanted to recommend it to you guys. It's called Digital Minimalism by Carl Newport and it's absolutely incredible. I've talked about this on my Instagram story already. It's a really really great book talking about how we can um, be more mindful about how we use our computers our phones and thus become more productive as well it doesn't say that like you know social media and all that stuff is bad and you completely have to quit it it just helps you develop a healthier relationship to it and i've already used a lot of advice in this book i really really can highly recommend it to anyone who has a social media account or uses a computer which is pretty much everyone that's watching this video so guys make sure to get this book because I highly recommend it We 
just drove to Ibiza Old Town and we're gonna shoot some stuff here. Old Town is actually so nice, I really like it, you know, with the harbor and stuff. And the problem is that it's super, super hot. Like these last days, it's just been boiling hot. So whenever you walk through the streets, you're just dripping in sweat. So it's gonna be quite warm. I think it's like 20, no. How warm is it? It was super warm, right? It's like over 30. It's like 35 degrees, so it's not like the ideal weather to stroll around. But yeah, we gotta take some photos. Julia's snacking on some chips and should we go? Yeah. Guys, Julia and I are dying over here. It is so hot because if you're in Ibiza Old Town and you want to walk up to like the viewpoint and all the little cute streets, you have to go, it's like an incline. And the fact that it's like 30 something degrees doesn't necessarily make it better. I am sweating so much. I feel like I just went to the gym. How are you dealing with the heat, Julia? Oh god. And you have long hair, I think it's worse for so you. So bad, and I forgot a hair tie. No. And like this is gonna be pure sweat, and I just washed my hair. Too. And you curled it. <laughs> okay, but we're gonna, the shoot must go on. You ready? <laughs> yeah. Even if the sun goes down on you, you gotta keep that shine on top, yeah. On top, yeah. On top, yeah. Jo and I are about to go on a little sunset mission. We've just got some food from Passion Cafe, which, as I told you, is my favorite restaurant here in Ibiza. So we got some food um, for takeaway and we got ourselves a big towel and we're going to watch the sunset um, overlooking Esvedra, which is, I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but it, you know, it's that big rock in the water where a lot of people take photos. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna go there, have a picnic. Yeah, I think it's gonna be really nice. <laughs> So this is our little setup and the view is not too bad guys. The water here also looks crystal clear, it's so beautiful. So this is the food that we got for takeaway. Um, I've got this, I think it's like a Mexican Buddha bowl or something. I've got some fries which we nearly ate already and then Julia got some sort of vegan, what is it? I don't think it's vegan cheese. No, oh, but it's some sort of like wrap or something. Yeah, it's quesadilla. Quesadilla. Ooh, the sun's so bright. The weird thing here is that the geckos are crazy. Like, they're, you know how geckos are usually scared of humans? But here on Ibiza, they're not. Like, they will jump on you. And but only here at Cap Verde. Yeah, they've jumped on me and Julia a few times. And there was one right now that like went on my food. So I'm a little bit grossed out. Um, but Julia said I can still eat it. What do you think? I'm gonna try. I mean, there's also like mice. Was it mice or a rat? Mouse? It was a mice. It was cute. Um, it was like a mouse, so I'm happy the mouse didn't like walk yeah. over my food, but the gecko did. So I'm not sure if that's like unhygienic for me to eat it now. I think it's fine. It's fine. Well, I mean, it didn't walk over your food. Oh, and also, oh my god, guys, we also got... I bought an extra avocado, which we're gonna put on our food. Yay. I hope it's a good one. But guys, this view is like the best, and the coolest thing is... Yeah, there's so many spaces, so it's not like crowded. Okay, guys, don't sit. Have a picnic in the spot, because... <laughs> Literally everyone is asking us to take yeah. photos. You can't really see it now because it's so dark, but yeah, everyone that, that's walking past is asking us to get a shot of them. Get the shot, Julia. Oh, guys, Julia is the perfect Instagram husband. She is getting banging shots right there. This is the second, second shot of the day. So we just finished our picnic and it was getting a little bit chilly, so we put on our pullovers. And yeah, I was fine. There was no gecko residues on the food, which I'm happy well, about. I don't know yet. Yeah, maybe I did. You know what I was thinking Do about? You know you what know? I was thinking and I wasn't going to tell you? What if the gecko laid eggs on your food and now your little gecko is growing inside? I was thinking about how geckos lose their tail. And I was like, what if it's in Does my it, food? Like, regrow? There was a bug in the food, which I don't know if that was from the gecko. So after we finished our food, we're just sitting here and it's so nice. The sun's about to set, so we're just going to watch the sunset here. This is like a perfect spot to watch the sunset. Julia said it's actually not the ideal spot. The sunset's actually over there, but you can still see it. And I mean, this view is just the best. Good morning, guys. Today is our last day on Ibiza. I look a little bit like someone just swallowed me out because at the place that we're staying at, which is really beautiful, by the way, it's called Ibiza Zen. I'm gonna show you some footage right now of what the place looks like. Anyway, at this place, Julia and I sleep 
so deeply like it feels like you you're like in a different world you know that kind of sleep when you're like sleeping so 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 deeply so when i wake up in the morning i'm like i can't even open my eyes it's a struggle i'm still sleepy and we woke up like one and a half hours ago but on a brighter note guys i wanted to show you a new trend because here at ibiza it's not only a beautiful hotel it's also like you know they have hats which you can use if you go to the pool i've got this one which i think is is a bucket head <laughs> Snow White. Snow White, and there's a little man. <laughs> Maybe for an Insta photo? So, Julia and I are at the airport right now. What did we do on our last day here on Ibiza? Um, we took pictures and we ate. <laughs> and we, we worked on our tan, so we just chilled by the pool. And oh my god, you know, it's very weird, but Julia has had a pimple here for the longest time. No, it was show like the just a pimple. It was, it was like huge. Ginormous. But just show the spot where it is. It's there. Still there. It was there. And guess where I'm getting one? It's the same spot. Soulmate. Pimple mate. Also, we thought it'd be nice to get our mom a little snack. Uh, <laughs> That's the truth. We thought it would be nice to get our mom a little gift from Ibiza. So we got her the salt for 10 years. I guess, you know, it's salt from Ibiza. I don't know. Oh, and these chips, which are, I think these are actually the best chips I've ever had. They're with the salt from Ibiza. And being the Germans that we are, we're actually way too early. They haven't even announced our gate yet. Jula is just editing some photos and eating gluten-free snacks, as per usual. I'm just reading my books, and I, because I told you about, because <laughs> I told you about this book before, right? And I finished it. It's really, really good. I can highly recommend it. And I just started this one, which is amazing too. But I'm only on page 11, but so far I'm loving it. Hey guys, I am back in Munich and I thought I'd end this vlog here. I wanted to give you a little tip in regards to Ibiza. Make sure to check out my Ibiza blog post because in there I've pretty much written down all the tips that, you know, things I really liked on the island, from beaches to restaurants to things you really must do. Um, so if you're looking for more Ibiza tips, I will put that link in the description box. I really hope you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye bye.